So terminal velocity, we need to describe the forces acting on falling objects and how they reach this terminal velocity. So let's look at phase one. Without his parachute open, he has a small area and a force which is equal to his weight down, i.e. now the weight and resistance are exactly equal, meaning he will reach a terminal velocity of around 120 miles per hour. This is also worth one mark as opposed to the last phase. Phase three, when the parachute is open, this means that his area above him is much higher, so there is more air resistance at any speed, but still the, the same force pulling him down. Therefore, we have a greater force upwards than downwards. Saying this is worth two marks. And the final mark says that because of this, his terminal velocity reduces to a safe speed of 15 miles per hour to hit the ground. In all in all, that's worth five marks. Also remember, in both, once the skydiver has reached this terminal velocity, his resistance is always equal to his weight. Therefore, the difference in, is always the speed at which it happens, not the force.